it is of note that for some times now, both the southeast and the southwest have been agitating for sovereignty as they keep questing to secede from the country. But on the contrary, the federal government has vehemently refused to oblige them. Not even the more volatile Southeast East, the President Buhari's administration prepared to allow to party ways with the rest of the country. As the agitations you know, seemingly get more hostile and intense but day by day, the agitators and some other stakeholders have taken to press home their demand by asking that a referendum should be conducted across the country. Still, the federal government is nowhere close to giving in to the problem it inherited. Taking of the persistence of the self-determination agitators for a national referendum, it will not be out of place to assume that they are absolutely confident that the outcome of it will favor them beyond doubt. But one of the most puzzling parts of life is that some of the things that we might have the utmost confidence in are those that often end us in disappointment. But before we continue, what do you think is referendum? You know, we have been hearing the word referendum. We have been, you know, seeing people using the word referendum, referendum here and there. What, you know, is the true meaning of this referendum? According to Wikipedia, a referendum is a direct and universal vote in which an entire electorate is invited to vote on a particular proposal and can have a nationwide or local form. Now, from the definition above, we can deduce that a referendum is just like the conventional elections in which someone above 18 years can vote for or against a person or idea. Now, let us now see some of the reasons why Biafra and Ododua nation agitators might be needing a trade with caution as they back up their self you know, determination movement with the quest for referendum. Number one, the age long higher population of the northern region as compared to the south should be put into consideration. It does not matter whether or not the agitators believe that the northerners are more populous than them. Records of you know, past elections, population censuses, voters registration exercises, and some others, you know, more can be used as evidence. And it should be remembered that most of them are against the idea of breaking up the country. Number two, also in recent times, as the agitations becomes more turbulent with increasing killings, maiming and destructions of both government and private properties. Some northern representatives have resorted to indicating their willingness to let go of the southern agitators, but even if they were to actually decide on behalf of the entire northerners, how serious are they? What is your thought about this? The third one, while both Nandikano and Sunday Boho are at the forefront of the southern self you know the time, you know self declaration movement most of the powerful southeast you know southeastern and southwestern associations are not in support of them for example ohanese indubo and afeniferi have publicly voiced against them besides the unsupportive groups many powerful yorubas and Igbos have either turned their heads to the development or probably they have publicly condemned the idea. And the most dangerous part of these people and you know the most dangerous part of these people and the aforementioned association is that they are also in control of a high number of diehard followers respectively. Just imagine 
what they can do if their masters happen to vote against the segregation of the country. Number five, a very surprising but funny one is the possibility of the teeming masses who have partaken in self-determination rallies suddenly voting against the idea. A very good pointer to this is after some political candidates have gathered a large number of supporters during campaigns end up having as low as only two votes. What is your thought about this that has been said? Which of the above that has been mentioned you know, are you know, possible or likely? Which of the above do you think is or probably are not possible or likely? I would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on this that has been said. Do well to share and you know drop your comments on this that has been said. We have heard according to the news that the referendum might not favor the you know Biafra and the Odudua nation agitators because according to what we have heard, the meaning of referendum is a direct and um, universal vote in which an entire electorate is invited to vote on a particular proposal and can have a nationwide or local form. Now it shows that the Yoruba and the Igbo agitators must you know trade with caution because they backed up their self-determination movement with the quest for referendum and when you take a good look at it the northerners have you know large population than the south what do you think can be done in this kind of situation i would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on this that has been said i'd like you to drop your reaction via the comment section on the you know following development but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people has felt concerning the present development david sin oyena and more reacted to this and said if there is going to be a referendum for the self-determination of the Southeast, what's going to be the stake if the North in the voting? What's going to be the stake of the North, pardon, in the voting? Now, referendum would be to determine whether the Igbo or probably the people of the Southeast unanimously agree to opt out of Nigeria. Then, the population of the north will be in consequential in such arrangement. What is your thought about this? Now it has been said that if there's going to be referendum for the self-determination of the southeast, what's going to be the stake if the north, you know, are present in the voting? Now referendum will be to determine whether the people of the southeast unanimously agree to opt out of Nigeria. Now. The vote will determine this. The population of the North will be inconsequential in such arrangements.